Welcome to Mastering Fire Ground Command, Calm the Chaos. Notice the active verb mastering. It's an ongoing, lifelong process. We never reach total mastery since there are too many dynamics on the fire ground, but we can continually practice mastering throughout our career. Notice the subtitle is Calm the Chaos. It could also be Prevent Chaos. Some of us think that the word chaos is an acronym for Chief Has Arrived on Scene. We must support and enhance operations, not deteriorate them. Let's talk next about the scope of this video series. This video focuses on the use of the Incident Command System, or ICS, for structural firefighting and how to organize strategy and tactics to produce safe, effective, and efficient operations consistently. It's very important to note that the scope of this video is primarily at the command, strategic, and tactical level. A requisite knowledge of strategy and tactics, building construction, fire behavior, and risk assessment is critical and must be considered a foundation from which to build the skills used in this video series. The following listed resources are just the beginning of the knowledge base that must be developed, continuously built upon, and updated as trends in construction, contents, strategy, tactics, and other factors evolve in the future. This video discusses strategic and tactical considerations, but the level of detail required in these areas requires additional study. Supplemental resources and training are a must. The Fire Officer Handbook of Tactics by John Norman, Fire Ground Strategies by Anthony Avilo, and Fire Command by Alan Brunacini should be considered complementary material for the subject matter of Fire Ground Command operations. While command, strategy, tactics, fire behavior, and building construction are all complex systems, we will teach you tools to integrate and streamline your ability to process these for command, since time is critical and things happen fast on the fire ground. In short, we cannot afford to get behind the power curve. We have to think fast and plan ahead. Let's talk about the learning objectives for this three video series. First, we want to increase the knowledge of the NIOSH top five line of duty death causes. NIOSH is the National Institute of Occupational Safety and Health, and they keep statistics on what's killing our firefighters. We need to go way beyond the pie charts and look at what's operationally killing us. Second, we need to understand the operational triangle and the need for competency in all three areas of that triangle. Third, we need to improve command skills for structure fires in residential, multifamily, apartment, commercial, big box, and strip malls. Fourth, improve the knowledge and application of the incident command system for structural firefighting. Fifth, improve knowledge of structure fire strategy and tactics, thereby impacting the ability to command in a safe, effective, and efficient manner. As incident commanders, we cannot afford to be reactive. We must be proactive. When everyone is ramping down, we must still stand vigil over our troops and look for the unexpected. Look at the last 10 years. Most firefighter training is reactive, focusing on what we do after a firefighter is down. Two Out and Rick have become the fad of the first decade of the new millennium, and with good reason. We routinely still lose around 100 firefighters a year. While all that training is critical, we must pay equal attention to what happens before a firefighter is trapped. Unfortunately, the NIOSH pie charts talk more about physiological causes of death like asphyxiation, trauma, and heart attack. As incident commanders, we must focus on the operational trends that lead up to asphyxiation and trauma. In short, it's one thing to know that someone died of trauma. It's another thing to know that he was pushed off a cliff. A re-examination of the NIOSH line of duty death reports shows us that the top five operational causes of line of duty death all surround command. The first one is improper risk assessment or poor size up. Next is lack of command, lack of accountability, inadequate communications, and finally, lack of SOPs or failure to follow your standard operating procedures. 
For the purposes of this video series, we're going to refer to the NIOSH-5 operational killers on the fire ground as the NIOSH-5. By impacting these proactively, training on command and setting up an incident command system that takes into account the NIOSH-5, we can reduce the incidence of firefighter injuries, firefighters in trouble, and ultimately the number of firefighter deaths. This proactive approach will yield more safe, effective, efficient, and consistent operations and truly calm the chaos.